Hello and thank you for watching. This is going to be my first episode of the series bringing you the introduction to every single class of It Lurks Below. To start things off, we will begin with the Rogue. This character is my first character and for several players this is the most difficult character and I do agree. This character's primary weapons are the dual blades. That's right, he is a dual wielding he is a dual wielding death machine lurking in the shadows ready to pop out at the most opportune of moments. 50% of the time you hit, gain deep wounds as well as increased poison damage by 20%. Deep wounds can stack up to 15 and provide you 1% critical hit per stack gained by hitting enemies. So as a base, the rogue has a substantial advantage with 15% chance to crit. As you can tell just from the start, this character is mainly based around his maneuverability as well as his critical hit chance. Indeed, the first item that you unlock for this character, the first ancient that you will be using throughout all of your gameplay, is the Cloak of Shadows. It provides you three seconds of increased critical hit 80% critical hit as well as 20% speed while you are lurking in the shadows and for those three seconds afterwards. The second ancient which you unlock is the refreshing flask. This will be your sustain for a good solid 10 levels, at least until you've received your first heal off of critical hits. This is the first item that begins the theme of, of spending the points which you have tirelessly begun stacking, expending up to 10 deep wounds to heal for 100 points each. At the max level, this will be a staggering 1,000 hit points per deep wound, using up to 5 deep wounds at a time. Following the substantial sustain, we find ourselves with the Assassin's Cow, because there is a cooldown in between your stealthy attacks. And so to provide you with a greater upkeep of your damage, the deep wounds provides you with eight, up to 18% critical hit chance. Per deep wound. The first few levels are not that impressive, but at the final level, the 18% per stack, using only 5 stacks, we are at an 80% critical hit chance with this item alone. Keeping in this vein of spending stacks to gain power, losing power to gain benefits, we have the Whisper 5 deep wounds, providing you 80% dodge chance. Needless to say, it's quite easy to become completely invulnerable as long as you can attack things. The final tool in this character's arsenal is the Devastating Dagger. This dagger provides a flat amount of critical damage. One of the few sources of critical damage in this game, an extra 100% flat critical damage with a character who is dealing critical strikes 100% of the time. Needless to say, this combines quite well, bringing the whole thing to a nicely rounded conclusion. If you are looking for a great character to dive deep without any risk of attack, seek out specific enemies, specific equipment at very little risk. This is the character for you, able to dish out at substantial damage when the time comes, and also keep himself safe with his elusive maneuvers. The Rogue may be just for you.